That's interesting. I, I just found out something that I really want to share now that I, I have the opportunity. It's quite a surprise. Um, I've been studying for some years now a friend of mine, six feet under from the 50s, who I only use the first name, Edward. Edward died with the secret of technology, but at the time where he was alive, he he was building a castle out of corals. Those corals were nearby where he lived. So he used those corals for practical reasons, but also to show how vast the technology he must have used were. He explains with his history that he couldn't share this technology. But even before the project called uh, the Montauk project, we had a remote viewing. Very often we used to call it uh, distant healing or extremely sensible people. Uh, but it became science. It was part of science very early. And uh, part of that science we call the Montauk Project. But this Edward, there has been more questions to his uh, technology than the people seem to be uh, aware of using a technology called remote viewing. Three remote viewers are on YouTube and you can listen to what they have to say compared to this technology that this Edward was using building the coral castle. And it's been in my mind for some years and the remote viewers are, are actually giving away a lot of new hints for the human race. It has hardly anything to do with his castle or museum but for the human race, uh, a more clearer or deeper understanding of gravity. And the surprise is during one of the remote viewers saying, describing a small device that this scientist had in his hand. A small device where you have three, combination of three energies. But it's complicated because those three energies are working together simultaneously. So, of course, that means that we have to first get the three puzzles as clear as possible before you expect them to work simultaneously. So when the remote viewer is describing this energy, he says, that when the scientists are using the palm of his hand to push this device, it, it looks like static energy, static electricity. But then he emphasized that it's not static electricity. This remote viewer in his vocabulary doesn't know plasma energy. So when you push electricity into the gravity line with its magnetic line above, then you have three energies, gravity, magnetic and electricity. But you don't use gravity alone, or magnetic energy alone, or electricity alone. In the static electricity, you have a magnetic energy that creates electromagnetic field. You have them in the words, electro and magnetic. The only thing you need to make a motor spin is the negative line. 
if the magnetic line is positive charge. So this guy, this remote viewer is saying that he knows approximately how long at the time of the usage of this device works. So he knows how long time he can lift stones, how many stones, how high up and left or right, horizontal or vertical. And he leaves this world by saying, even granite carries Fibonacci numbers. Why do this scientist use the word even? Oh, that must be because he used corals. And this is no question. We know that that's why he used the word even. Even referring to Egypt. That that's how they carry the stones in Egypt. Because when he cut out the stones inside uh, the corals, then he knew that as well, how to cut inside the stone, making them come out. He needs this because the corals has to be whole as a, as a stone-like principle. But there is a clear understanding as much from the gravity and magnetic field using electricity as well as sound and light. That's where we have hertz. There is a difference, a loose difference between 110 volt and 220 volt. There you have the connection. It's just an understanding. It's just an idea of, of habits. So when you create a device that is based on 110 or 220, when you see this from a plasmatic field, it doesn't care, it doesn't matter. It's just a habit. It's, it's not either or from the 110 to 220. And if you create electricity on the gravity field, then of course you have electromagnetic energy. What's left is gravity. So what I did, referring to Douglas's uh, confirmation and proof that this device or the, the structure of his solution works, it means that uh, the proof is uh, coming from the 110 volt basis. But if you look above this structure of the physical uh, proof, and if you add electromagnetic energy into it, then you realize that the three bulbs from Douglas are not usual bulbs. They're electrostatic energy. And they're very central to the unit. So I made a device that are based on uh, electrostatic energy. Uh, confirmation and proof that this device or the, the structure of his solution works. It means that uh, the proof is uh, coming from the 110 volt basis. But if you look above this structure of the physical uh, proof, and if you add electromagnetic energy into it, then you realize that the three bulbs from Douglas are not usual bulbs. They're electrostatic energy. And they're very central to the unit. So I made a device that are based on uh, electrostatic energy. Monique, can you give me the device that I made yesterday? What 
this device needs to be complete is a metal dome here. And that metal dome has, uh, is linked to electrical wire. When this motor is spinning, it's AC. It's what we refer to as the most clear principle of electricity. But what we're after here has nothing to do with minus and plus. It has something to do with motion. And through motion, using vinyl and um, silicon, we create something that looks like tunnel. And we call it loosely static electricity. But the reason why the remote viewers couldn't say that they're saying it looks like static electricity, but it's not. That's because he didn't know plasma. And even if you know plasma, then how do you put it? What is plasma? If it's in human nature, this plasma is inside our bodies, then we have an electrical charge that is always measured in millivolt. Always. If you are electrical, you will have a problem. Stick two fingers in, in a plug and you find out you will have a problem. That's too much. So the only thing you need is to understand this small little device and add gravity and magnetic energy into it. And of course, the closer you get to gravity with this device, creating electromagnetic energy that we call static. It's not going to be static electricity. It's going to be something like it. Thunder, lightning. And where have we seen thunder and lightning in the body? In the brain. You attach the metal dome. Why? Why do we put the metal dome on? It's to emphasize the energy from the static electricity. It's to big, make it bigger and, and collect as much as possible. The difference between a low effect of static electricity is when you can't see it. And it hurts when you can see it, usually. The reason is simple. It's because you just gave static electricity a release coming through your body, <laughs> walking with plastic uh, boots on the carpet. Um, no. And you have your hair, your hair stand up. The reason why it's standing up is because there is no release. And when you do, it hurts. And sometimes you even see the lightning. And this is the point there, to see the ignition. And isn't it interesting to realize that when you marry electricity, gravity, and magnetic line, you will have a result. So the jumps in the key to the hybrid blueprint as a reference are a device that are mainly steered or manipulated by AC and DC. But not AC and DC when it comes to the batteries, the plasma batteries. So if you understand the plasma batteries and how they work with the magra, then you're pretty close to a revolution. Because 
the way you connect the batteries, the way you're making your batteries, are going to give you different results. So let's say that you measure gravity in the magnetic field in the magrav unit with electric voltage, uh, voltage meter, and you realize that you have between uh, five and six hundred millivolt in there. Then an electrician would say that's not much. Much more on what? Health, energy, or food? Now you have to understand. You have, you have to understand the difference and the needs and why. Why is it working? And of course, dear Edward knew that if, if he died with his secret, he at least wouldn't have the same problem as Einstein, giving away uh, the, the, the blueprint to make uh, atom and hydric, uh, um, hydrogen um, based weapon. He wouldn't be uh, personally responsible in, in Western world uh, history, uh, science, of science.